Bonnie again here from Bubbles, Bobbles, and Bows. And I'm here for on this Saturday for another soapy episode for y'all. Um, today the soap that we are going to be making is um, called Dragon Moon. And it is from Nurture Soap. And let me just read you what it says on their website to kind of explain a little bit about what it is. It says, Dragon Moon fragrance oil is mysterious and ethereal. The scent of night blooming flowers in ancient woods is complemented by Spanish moss and garden herbs. A touch of musk completes this blend. Um, I, I really like it. It's really soft. It's not um, too strong. Uh, and I think it, it's, it, it could be good for, uh, it's, you know, a man or a woman on here, kind of a unisex scent, so. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, here I have my oils already melted, um, and at room temperature, and as well as my lye water. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to blend it until emulsification. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Mine has been very busy. I've kind of started some new projects besides soap making. Um, just, you know, to see, if, you know, it's resin is what I've started actually. Um, and let me tell you, that right there is very challenging. Especially if you've never done anything like that before, and I have not. So, But I've seen some beautiful pieces. Um, but, but resin is very temperamental. But anyway, um, let's get back. We're getting back to soap right now. But I uh, just wanted to kind of mention that. It's very fun and satisfying. Okay, so I want to um, pour some of this off. Uh, and split it into a few different colors. I'm going to be doing uh, Climb Blue from Nurture Soap, Cheshire Cat, um, 24 karat resin, I mean not resin, 24 karat gold, um, and Raspberry Red from Nurture Soap. Um, and what I'm planning on doing is uh, a, a scene in the soap, uh, some mountains, I'm going to have them dark, and I have made a, a moon soap mo uh, out of soap dough, um, and I'm going to color the sky and all that, and we'll see how it turns out. I, you know, last time I tried to do one of these, I did it on... Uh, a video but I I used a uh, melting pour moon and it didn't turn out too good for me so let's just hope that this is better um, and it turns out like I I want it to as you know sometimes the little soap fairies come and our soap is not what we think it is so all right so um, I'm going to pour this off into separate bowls and to keep you all from having to see that, I am... Oh, well, let me go ahead and put my scene in real quick. Okay. And I'm just going to hand blend this because I want it to stay fluid. 
at least until I get to the mountain part that I want that to kind of sit up. going to blend it a few minutes and then of course when I stick blend the colors I'll be blending it some more so, um, so, so oh it smells so good so all right so I will be right back after I get my soap poured off in the separate containers and since I'm kind of messy and I don't want y'all to see me spilling it all over the place I will be right back okay I'm back and I've split off my soap into four different molds uh, I mean four different containers um, the first container is um, black oxide in it it's going to be my base layer um, I've already mixed that in so I'm going to go ahead and mix the other colors in I'm going to hand mix it because it's kind of it's um, accelerating a little bit, not too much. It's actually behaving really well, but, but I just um, I want it to stay as fluid as possible. So, all right. All right, so that's my blue. Clean up a little bit there. The blue, the purple, and the pink are going to be the night sky. And that's perfect colors. And I'm going to have a little bit, save a little bit out of this, out of the pink in here for my gold. Because I just want some gold accents. Um, in the night sky, so the hands are a little slippery. Oh, it's so pretty! All these colors, so bright. Tell you, it's, whew, the soap fairies are out tonight. I just knocked off my brand new stick blender on the floor that had the black <laughs> iron oxide that I mixed that with, and it is just everywhere. You can't see that, but whew, some stuff you don't need to see, I think. So, not that I'm perfect. I'm definitely not, but anyway, okay, so I'm going to try to do some sculpted layers here with the black. And then the first layer. And you know, you have to put a lot of, of black in the, you know your whatever it is you're making for it to stay black okay so, that down a little bit okay. and I'm just gonna leave a little bit in the bowl to kind of splatter on top because I'm not going to do a a high top um, today um, it's just going to be a low top soap so but anyway I'm going to let this black set up where I can sculpt it and then I'll come back and we'll finish the soap I'll see you in a little bit okay everybody I'm back um, and my black oxide base is set up enough that I can just make some texture tops. I'm gonna kind of just build them up 
I have done it before where um, I used a, a little tool. You can get it at a Bramble Berry, but I cannot seem to find it anywhere. So I'm just going to make do here. And we're going to make some little mountains. And, and hope for the best. So. can see I kind of just scooped them up and like textured them so okay so now I'm going to go in with my blue and it's not really fluid at this point anymore but so I'm just gonna kind of scoop it on a little bit I don't want to disturb those other layers On some purple I want it to be like a multi colored sky and after I get a little bit of all three colors on there I'm going to um, beat it down a little bit there going to take a popsicle stick and kind of swirl it a little bit in there try not to get down to the the mountain layer I don't want that so okay and I'm going to just go in with some of the gold and kind of just, I just want little streaks in it. Clean the sides up a little bit. It's not strode everywhere. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my soap. Um, my moon is what it is. And I'm just going to kind of set it off to the side. I've made this out of soap dough. Um, and I've coated it in the 24 karat gold maca. It's a little, I'm going to have to cut a little piece of this off. It's a little too long. So I'm going to go back in with my rest of my soap and I'm going to layer it over the top of it. Okay, I'm going to save a little bit in the bowl for the top of the soap.
Now I'm not really doing this in any order. I'm just kind of plopping it in there. I want it to have like a little sunset look, kind of. down in there because you want all your soap to be in there covering everything okay, and I'm going to go bang this down and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and I have banged down my soap. Um, I'm going to add a little more of the gold on top. Kind of swirl it around. Just put some color where. I don't see a lot of it. Make sure that you get your moon covered as well because you know you don't want it to be right at the very top of your soap like that and it, where you want it to be covered so so that's why I'm going over here and just doing a little extra soap on top going to be mounded a little bit just to simulate clouds I guess it's kind of what it's going for because the sun's setting there's still you know the sky's a little swirly and everything and all those pretty colors that are coming out at sunset Now I'm just going to add a little bit of 
um, Mad from Mad Micah's uh, Grace Jones Electric. You know, I've got to add a little bit of glitter to it, since I'm not doing much else. You know, I'm not doing the high top like I normally do. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there. See, like I've got a lot right there. Okay. I'm going to add also a little bit of Joan, Joan Jet Black from Mad Micah's. Just for a little bit of contrast. Just to make it look a little mysterious, kind of. And then I'm going to spray the top down with just a little bit of just a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and that's just to put everything in place, um, keep everything in place, uh, all the glitter and all that. So um, I'll clean it up a little bit here for you, and I'll make it look pretty. All right. Oh. Gosh, I'm so messy today. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what it is. Just gonna, I don't know what happened there? Okay. So there's the soap. Um. And I guess I'll see y'all back tomorrow for the cutting. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And sorry, it's so chaotic. Um. Kiss my life these days. So. Uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ready again here from Bubbles, Bubbles, and Bows, and I'm here to do the cutting of the soap um, that we started yesterday, the Dragon Moon soap. Um, it has been in the mold for um, 18 to 24 hours, and it's time to cut it and see how it turned out and see if it turned out like we wanted it to. So, all right, so I'm going to use my trusty um, Essential Depot cutter and we're going to get get to cutting hopefully it'll go through pray that it goes through it's really hard Having problems here, but it. Not sure. Okay. All right. So there it is. All right. So let's just pull one out of the center and see how it looks. And here it is. That looks very pretty. And that good. It's got a little air bubble in there. But sometimes that happens. Um, can y'all see it? Oh, it turned out so pretty. I love it. And there you can see the glitter on the top. And there's the little moon. And that's the night sky. So...
that is. So, so yeah, I really enjoyed making this soap. I had to do some some more like this. I was really concerned that that embed that soap dough embed that I did would not work out well. So, but it did. So anyway, uh, thank you all again for joining me for a new video. Um, I will have one up again for y'all shortly. Um, remember to like, subscribe to the channel, um, and comment down below. And, you know, if there's some soaps that you'd like to see me do, then you can tell me about that or some t techniques. Or you just have any suggestions or questions um and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so anyway these will be going up in the sg shop i'll be posting all that um i'm not sure the date now of when it's going to go up but i'll have that all posted on a little um release video i guess um so anyway it was nice uh soaping with y'all and I will see y'all next time. Bye.